uh, we're here to race. Well, I guess you might say it does a little more damage. You know, I come over here to race. And the old timers call it a bull ring, and that's how best to describe the famed quarter mile track at Bowman Gray Stadium. Putting like 25 pit bulls in a cage and, and watching them go at it, and it, it's, it's basically just like that. With the most powerful cars under NASCAR sanction racing in such close quarters, wild and crazy things are the rule rather than the exception. It's always been like that over here. I mean, I remember them getting out in the infield fighting, and that was back in the 50s and 60s. I mean, you know, so it's been here all along. Tempers often flare, and it's usually for the same reason. Somebody is keeping you from the front, and the front is where you need to be. If a man is holding you up a half a second a lap, and you and the only way by him is to knock him out of the way a little bit, then that's what you got to do, and, and that's the way it works. So good, bad, ugly, however you want to look at it. So that means many drivers pull out the old chrome horn. I guess because the cars are so equal, and you know it's easier just to take a man out than it is to pass him, so it's an easy way to the front. But when you wheels touch someone else, that's the end of it for the night. You can knock $1,000 off one of these cars in, in, in a blink of an eye. And this season has been more contentious than others. But why? There's so many fans that come out over here in the new racetrack, and everybody wants to run good. The economy's pretty bad, and a lot of teams don't have sponsorship money to run on. They've got to run as good as they can. So you got to finish good. And the guy that gets taken out when he's running good that don't have that sponsor, he's going to be more upset because he don't make that money to come back the next week to race. I think it's more just the fact that it's easier from the knock you out of the way than it is to pass you. So that's their way to the front. Will it ever change? Probably not. I think what needs to happen is these people that are getting knocked out of the way because they're slow or slower, I think they need to work on their race cars instead of worrying about running over people under caution. That's just sending a message and I'm not taking it anymore. I've been taken out of three races now and you know there's no sense in it. I'll give them a lane to race me with. I come to race clean. If they don't want to race that way, I'm going to start hammering back at them. Camel City race fans don't seem to mind the rough stuff, especially when it creates great finishes and wild rides like this one that Michael Clifton took on his way to Victory Lane. You can look up in the stands and see how many people's here. Uh, I mean, you, if you was running this place, would you stop it? <laughs> the fans love it. True, true, and that's the main thing is sell tickets. We're just the clowns. Jeff Amernick, WXII 12 Sports.